Well, I, I certainly don't think that it is uh, an example of total war. Um, it is a difficult question in that uh, you have to begin with agreement on what total war is. Um, but the term is actually a 20th century term. Uh, it was a term that was uh, coined, devised basically uh, as a way of describing the sort of warfare that is waged with aircraft and indiscriminate bombing, uh, where uh, civilian uh, casualties, massive civilian casualties, are inevitable. And uh, such is not the case in the Civil War. Um, and the, the people who fought the Civil War had internalized a great number of restraints uh, uh, on their behavior. Um, Women, for example, were regarded as, even in a place like Missouri, racked with guerrilla warfare of the most hideous kind. Uh, in Missouri, uh, uh, guerrilla leaders uh, rode horses that had human scalps draped from their bridles. Uh, it, it was as ugly as warfare got. And yet, and yet, uh, women were regarded as sacrosanct. And when an area was invaded, my colleague Bill Blair, uh, uh, always likes to say, you know, uh, when an area was invaded by the enemy, all the men took to the woods and left the women in the homes uh, because they weren't worried about it. Mm -hmm. And that sort of uh, helps us to see uh, the internalized kind of Victorian mindset uh, that affected the people from the president to uh, the president's generals uh, and right down to uh, most of the common soldiers that uh, affected um, a restraint uh, that was uh, categorically different from the nature of 20th century warfare.